Hello, welcome back, Roadrunners. Um, I'm very excited to see you all again. It's been a while since our last video. Um, in our last video, we were discussing the Cal State application and pretty much walked you through the whole entire application itself. Um, but now you've submitted your application. So what do we do next? Um, and so this month, the month of January, uh, you are actually required to submit your Cal State application update. Um, so that's what we're going to be talking about today, and I'll be walking you through um, how to complete this update. So it's really rather simple. Um, first and foremost, you're going to need to log back into your application. Um, and once you do so, you'll be taken back to this very familiar page, this page that I'm sure everyone was hoping never to have to see again. Um, but you just need to see it one last time for this uh, application update. So when you log in, um, you'll notice that there's this blue button that says update my application that wasn't there before. Um, hold off on clicking this button. Uh, you'll be clicking this at the very end once you've made your changes. So just a brief explanation or overview of this update. Um, the Cal States essentially want to have your fall 2020 grades updated. When you applied, uh, you indicated that it was in progress or planned, um, and at that time you weren't able to enter your grades because you didn't have the grades yet. Um, and you entered your spring courses, right? Um, and most likely you were registered already for those courses, but there could have been a course or two that you were waitlisted for or that maybe later down the line um, to this day uh, you dropped or added another class. So the point of this application update is to update them with this new information with your fall 2020 grades and any spring classes that might have been dropped or added. Um, so that's really the point of this uh, application update. So in order to make these updates, we're going to have to jump into academic history under our college coursework section. As you may remember, uh, this is where we added our college courses uh, taken at Rio Hondo College or any other colleges that you've attended. And once you're on this page, you're going to click Edit. And it'll take you here to all of the courses that you um, entered when you submitted this application. So we're going to scroll down to Fall 2020. Um, now for myself, it already has the grades. That was my mistake. I was testing this out before recording the video. Um, but just for the sake of explaining uh, what you need to do, um, as you can see, I clicked on this pencil button right here to edit my fall 2020 classes. Uh, for yourself, you'll find under the completion status, it's going to say in progress slash planned, and you're gonna go ahead and click on that and change it to completed. And once you do that, it'll allow you to add your grades. So you'll be able to, to add the grades that you got um, and make those changes. And once you have them all entered, you'll be able to save it. Go ahead and click save. And when we go back down to fall 2020, we'll see that those classes now have the grades that you earned uh, for that semester. And then lastly, uh, for spring 2021, just make sure that those courses uh, are reflective of the courses that you are enrolled in. So let's say, for example, you know, I decided to drop Spanish 101. I would have to go ahead and delete that from the list of classes that I'm taking in spring 2021. Or for example, let's say you actually added another class for spring 2021, you would go ahead and click add a course. and Just make sure to add that class. And it'll be the same process uh, as when you were initially applying, um, the same process of adding the classes. And once you've made all of the changes and it reflects the classes that you're registered for, go ahead and click save. 
Now you'll notice that after making these changes, the section looks incomplete. Um, so in order for it to show that it is complete, you'll have to click on college coursework again and scroll all the way to the bottom. Uh, this question is asking, have you completed entering your transcript? And you're gonna go ahead and say yes and save your transcript. We're gonna continue to the next section. It shows that the general ed section is not complete. So we're just gonna have to review your golden four courses, make sure that they are matching correctly. And if they are, just go ahead, save and continue. And now once again, the section is complete. So what I will do next is click on my application. And it's taking me back to this main hub with the update my application button. Um, now let's say, for example, that one of the classes that you took for fall 2020 was a repeated course. Uh, like, for example, here, Theater 153. Um, let's just say that I took it earlier on um, in fall 2019 and failed it. If in fall 2020 I got a passing grade for that repeated course, um, I'll have the opportunity to go back to the first time that I took the class and change the grade from that F to an RP. So please keep in mind if any of the classes that you've taken in fall 2020 are repeated, um, be sure to update the previous uh, grade from the last semester that you took that class to an RP um, so that it can better reflect a more accurate transfer GPA. That, however, will not be the case um, if you're taking a repeated course in spring 2021. Um, so let's say you know you you did not pass a class earlier on, and you're repeating that class in spring 2021. Um, you are not able to enter RP in that initial class um, because we don't have your final grade for spring 2021 just yet. Um, so just please refrain from making that change if the repeated class is in spring 2021. So once we've made all of our changes and our updates, uh, we're back here at our My Application uh, section at the main hub. And once we're ready, once we've made sure that the updates are made and saved, you're gonna go ahead and click on Update My Application. And that completes your application update. And that pretty much sums up the application update process for the Cal States. If you need further assistance or you have any other questions, do not hesitate to reach out to us at the Transfer Center. Um, we're available by phone, email, or chat, so feel free to reach out to us.